I'm this saying the IBG, and this is VGM, and this yes. is SN... SGNN. SGNN. It's like CNN. I, I tried guess. to do that on the on the, on the fly. fly. I'll do all those acronyms up in your brain. Yeah. We've been doing Video Games Monthly for quite a while. Two years. And they've, and they've, been, years. they've been good to us, and we've been good, good to them, and I love you, VGM. Tell them use the promo code that doesn't exist. You should tell them to give us, <laughs> yeah, give us a promo code. I, that's yeah. one. That's the only um, correction I wish VGM would do. A yes. promo codes mm -hmm. for um, to help Advances. them get more subscribers. Yes. We probably got you some subscribers. Everybody go to VGM right now if you want some sick games like the ones we're gonna get. That box is heavy, and so I'm assuming good shit. B, their site needs an upgrade. Yes. Um, I do love their site. You can go on and you can upgrade all your video games so that you don't, uh, hopefully don't get any repeats. Um, but if you're wanting to switch um, a subscription box, you have to cancel your account and get a new one. That, that to me, so when we go yes. to the Tim, I was looking because yeah, we're, we're, we're going to upgrade our box, upgrade to, our box to the honking boy. When we get to 100 subscribers for me to the 10 game box, so and we'll I was trying to figure out how to do that. that and. I think you have to email them to do it or, or talk to them. You can't just switch from one box mm. to the next, which I think that, that could use a little work. Oh, my eye. But, yeah. but we're not here for that. We're here for good games. We're here for great games. And taking names. And I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, right off the bat, we got a two up. Ooh. Which means we've got two more games than Dose. the subscription that we bought. I get the four game right now. So that means we're getting a honking six, six games. Ooh. So there's the two up. Flyer. The welcome to, or not welcome to, the thank you card. Thank you for, for being VGM. a VGM person. It's a little bit crunkly. That's fine. Crunkly well, because they good. packed it with so many great games. Yeah, no, whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of games in there. I mean, I don't want to look. Um, I'm going to pull out the, the trinket here first. Uh, this time, it's not really a trinket, it's uh, tattoos, Nintendo. Are those variety. look retro as heck? They, they do look. Yeah, look they at look that. They look like they came out of uh, like an old cereal like box. Joe Bazooka or whatever that. Yeah, was. Bazooka, Bazooka Joe. Yeah, Bazooka Joe yeah. Bubblegum. Dude, I love that. Right? Um, I remember when that was good. A lot of you youngins out there won't know that. No, they I'm talking they about that. Bazooka, 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 Bazooka Joe still exists. It's just now it's all digital rewards on their app and shit. Is it? Do mm. they still have it at like penny candy stores? No, or something it's like that? expensive now. Do penny candy awesome. stores still exist? I hope so. I know there's a few. This is going to be already. terrifying. You get a stick of bubble gum with this. When was this? When was this? 1989. There's, <laughs> there's a 1989 like, stick of bubble gum in here. Which means it's powder. And it is going to be disgusting. Not good for you. If you guys, if we hit 100 subscribers in the next day, I'll eat this gum. The day after this post. Not yes. After this day. You know what I mean. I really don't want to eat that gum, but you should totally. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you see this video. Yeah, yeah, I only yeah. need eleven more. Yeah, eleven so, more people, and, and then I'll uh, eat the nasty gum. That's gonna be that's gonna cut like seven years off my life. So you better is, do it. All right, what games do we get, Vince? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one right here. It's a Ooh. PlayStation game. Uh, case is a little cracked, but this is Dave Mira Freestyle BMX, which um, stands for Bazooka Massive Xylophones. Um, for me, this game. Uh, I can't it's like not the, Tony Hawk. Yeah, it's not yeah. Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk was revolutionized the, the extreme sports yeah. genre, so everything else. Oh, was, there was a Dave Mira. There was a Dave Mira on the PS2 that was like Dave Mira Extreme 2. Mm -hmm. That one was dope. Was it? Yes. We need to play that on the show eventually. So but I, I've I, never played that one. It being for what it is and the time frame it was, is, I'm not expecting much from this game. Let's give it a review. I'm going to give it a 4. Out of Ooh, 10. how about a 4? Four and a half will be slightly nicer just because Tony Hawk is nicer. Tony Hawk is so good. I want to see you want to read the back. Did I yeah. did I show the people? Did you show the people? Did I show the people? I don't remember. Did I show you people? Okay, dial in to progressive freestyle BMX with ten time world champion. <coughs> no. Rated for mild language. The graphics don't look too bad though. So I hope it's fun. Go right be, there. I could be completely wrong. These are just these are just um, initial assumptions based on knowledge, assumption, look at the game. Yeah, yeah, and if we've played it before. Like if I were to walk to a store when this first came out, like, yeah, would, I, like, like, would I buy Dave Mira? Mira? But if I panned my head slightly to the right, I saw Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Oh, wait, I picked up Pro Skater 2. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly where I was going. <laughs> uh, next on Ooh. top is a, is a classic Super yes. Mario game. I own Probably three the copies. <laughs> most known of this uh, Yes, is Super, Super Mario, Mario World. World. Oh yeah, baby! So, yeah. I own it on the SNES Classic digitally. Mm -hmm. I own it on the Game Boy Advance because they ported this to the GBA, and I own it on my 3DS. I do not have it on the SNES yet. I, I do have to say though, like I, 
Yeah, when I went to the store, like this is one I did go to the store for yes. when I was a kid. I bought this game. I know what it plays like. I love the game. You, nine, 9 out of 10. Huh? In stereo. You had to double ding <laughs> that. I remember fond memories of this game. I remember being stuck on World 3, though. World the 3. stupid ghost house in World 3. You know what I'm Ooh. talking about? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I, know, I, think yeah. I know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking so, about. I'm still stuck on it. Wait, I don't know. World Was 3, it? that's in the cave, right? Yes. Okay, the cave, mm -hmm. okay, nah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know exactly that. what you're talking about. The one with about. the giant fucking booze? Am I allowed to cuss in this? I don't know. You can like, do whatever you want. Like, we're not monetized yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> YouTube ain't paying us anything. <gasps> okay, so next we I have GBA a games. GBA game. He's the collector of GBA games, mm -hmm. so I go for NES all the time. Yes. Um, this is Monster Truck Madness, <laughs> and I have honestly but never played a Monster Truck game. So. I've, okay, I've only played, there was a Monster Jam game on the PS2 that I played once, and it was crap. This one looks like it's just generic, it's not Monster Jam, it's just Monster Trucks. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's fun, it's actually a game that Microsoft made on the GBA, that's incredible. because That's were awesome. Old school. We were working old school. on, they were probably working on the Xbox by this time. So that's there's a whole bunch of gunk on it. I'm I'm unsure I'm gonna, on this one. I'm gonna say six just to be safe. A good six, six out of ten. He put the gameplay on the screen probably so we can oh, see yeah. how cool it looks. Yeah, you can see that that's gameplay. A, that's a lot of fucking editing you're doing. I'm sorry. Um, I, I I don't have as much faith as you in this one. I'm gonna give yeah. it a five. Oh, it's smudgy. Just a five. five okay. Yeah. Okay. Ship bell. I heard he has it right there. <laughs> We got three pretty decent games yeah, so far. Three big box just... games now. Uh, we've got the Terminator, <gasps> the Terminator, Dawn of Fate. Dude, look at look how shiny the box art is. Look, shaking in the light, shaking in the light. Yeah, look at how shiny that is, everybody. Shiny bright like a, a diamond. diamond. <laughs> now you're stealing my jokes. But yeah, it's a good joke. Um, it, it, it is a little chopped up here and there. We did on the get case. another Terminator game last month, actually. We got Robocop versus. I Terminator. was so jealous that you took that one. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. So I did jealous. take that one. We are going to play it on the show, so. though. So, another Terminator game. It looks like it's a third-person action game. Ooh, that actually looks really, really yeah, so fun. Yeah, that one actually I'm a little bit excited about. I, yes. I've never played any of the Terminator games, really. So, I wonder I, I wonder who's going to get this one. But I, just from the back of it and how dope it looks, I love the Terminator. Look at how dope that looks. Yeah, that does look pretty good. That, that looks like Spy Hunter uh, Nowhere to Run, which you should watch the Let's Play of. Ooh, that does. I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Ooh. Wait, I should, uh, probably, I should probably move it back a little. I'm actually ah, feeling here. I'm actually feeling a little bit more hope on this one. Yeah, eight out of ten. There. Ooh, just because you like you like the Arnie. Uh, I like the gameplay style that it shows on the back, and I really like it's only Terminator. Two. I like. I mean, everything about me says that I, I'm gonna possibly love this game. So hey, turn the fan off. I'm uh, I'm giving it that love. There. Are. Good 8 out of 10. Ooh, another... Next, we have... And we've received uh, games like this. I don't know if we've received this exactly I don't, I don't think we. I don't think we've had that one. I think we've had other um, ones in the franchise, but is that... This is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. It's the first one. And I know that we've received... I think we've received, like, Splinter Cell, Pandora, Tomorrow, or yeah, something like that. Like, variations we've got a lot of, of Tom Clancy game. games in these VGs. But uh, we've never received this one, I don't think. But if we have... Then cool, it's okay. One of, uh, the other one of us will get it. The, the I, look, I also it. like how it's a platinum hits. I like I liked when they did platinum hitses and they yeah, made the case what different. The, what was the real difference of platinum hits? Case was a different color, and they. We're <laughs> trying to break the game. Yeah, we are. And the disc had the platinum hits logo on it. That's literally the only difference, and it was labeled as a twenty dollar game on the shelves. Uh -huh. So anything that was a platinum hit oh. immediately became a twenty dollar game. And then you could be you could be like, oh, this game sold a million copies. I guess I'll buy it. Nothing crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna open it again without dropping the disc. And I'm gonna say seven out of seven out of ten, just because I'm shit at stealth games. I'm gonna say seven out of ten too, just because this was a mass genre. Tom Clancy no, had they a had, lot of these. They games. had tons. So of they them. flooded the market. Yeah, and for that, it kind of loses a point. The for last me. Splinter Cell though was 2011. Mm -hmm. So they haven't done it in a while. I was expecting them to announce a new one at E3. Just I'm like, oh, they will be. eventually. Yeah, I know. But Ooh. And lastly, out of the box, oh, this yeah, this no, is classic gem. my life. Like we I went to the I've, store for every release of this game. Like, and I've played a few on my channel. So Resident, Resident Evil. Evil, and it's on a good system too because I like the and game it's too. the double disc version. Open it's that the shit. Double disc. Double disc. Double disc <laughs> version. It's That's the, something completely different. <laughs> it's got two discs. Two discs. It was GameCube. that big. I, not many GameCube games had multiple discs. Can you tell me four games on the GameCube that had two discs? Everybody type, type it in and guess. Yeah, yeah let us know what games did you play as a kid that had four discs. Four discs? Ooh, a lot. Three of, discs. More than one disc. More than one disc. <laughs> a two disc GameCube game is crazy. Nine and a half out of ten. Dang 
you, you I mean, we're right on point with our our ratings. Our ratings. We're, we're the same person. So nine and a half for you too. Nine and a yeah. half. I'm sorry, Resident Evil One, and it's in a really good condition box. It like there's a few dings and dents, but look, look at the zombie man attacking Jill. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's very fun. I I actually was so sad because I. I was looking for that game, and I ended up, like, not finding it in our local area. Uh-oh. So, probably gonna snag I it, yeah. ended up grabbing the uh, Wii version. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That, that hurt my feelings. That, it that was so bad. busted me up. All right, long story short, everybody, if you want a grip of games similar to this one, mm -hmm. go to videogamesmonthly.com and sign up. You can get some awesome boxes. Company. They're a great company. They show us love. Give them some love back. You can get beautiful games like this. You can get old ass gum from the nineties, eighties, eighties. Yeah, eighty nine. Gross. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this BGM. Don't forget, you subscribe. You get to a hundred a day after this video goes up. Nate eats it. I'm gonna eat this gum, and we're gonna up our box. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> It'll give you bad YouTube views though. And as always, later, dudes. I had bad timing. I'm sorry. <laughs>